Hi all, and welcome back to our Minecraft Let's Play Old World Revived. Yeah, um, you're probably wondering, hey, uh, what the hell has gone on with you since you haven't been posting anything lately? Yeah, well, I'm not gonna uh, bore you with any details uh, in this episode. <clears throat> I'm just gonna tell you that the uh, info video will be up soon. Uh, yeah, let's see. How are we going? We are doing actually fine. I have, um, I have upgraded this, uh, whoop. I've upgraded this, uh, a few of them is, um, um, yeah, they are all, um, it's because I'm close enough to, uh, how you doing? Yeah, I've uh, taken off all the particle effects because uh, all of this is beginning to get a little bit too much for my system. <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm sorry about the uh, background there. Um, but, well. Oh, damn. They can't get to me at the moment because the door is closed, so let's... Uh, Damn, that's a lot of experience. Yeah, and then I have a... Um, oh my god. I have a vacuum hopper in there. What's this? Which uh, vacuums up into an... In the chest, which then uh, puts it in here. The inner chest is linked to this one, of course, as you can see. Simply because I needed the more glowstone, gunpowder, and sugar. Glowstone, gunpowder, and sugar. And um, we're getting nether wards like a son of a bitch now as well. Damn, take it easy. Because this one over here. Butterflies. This one over here is uh, running with witches as well. The witches are in there. Get, uh, they they keep themselves alive with the uh, by drinking their potions and stuff. So let me show you what has gone on downstairs. Okay, we are golden for space. No problem there. Look at this. Look at this. Damn. Things have changed down here. That's a damn sure. It's no longer an AE system. Um, porting the um, bottles to and from the different types of spaces. It is now... Um, oh, what are these things called? Uh, extra utilities transfer pipe. Yeah, those are the ones. And we have this huge system here. No, oh, yeah, this one, uh, this one is not running, but I can turn it on if I uh, if I need it. But we got one, two, three, four, five uh, level two generators, and down here we have five hundred and twenty. Oh damn, five hundred and twenty-three. 21, yeah, it's keeping the 520 some splash potions and here we got the water potions going up here Water potions going up there getting uh, Getting pulled out put into there as um, Speed potions one getting pulled out into here becoming speed potions two getting pulled out down here then becoming splash potion uh, splash speed potion two and then Port it off. So yeah, uh, three sections, uh, three stages. Actually, four. One, two, three, four stages. Yeah, from water bottle to s splash potion to uh, s uh, s speed splash potion two, or splash potion of swiftness, speed two. Okay, cool. 
and this uh, here, this motor right here, I I don't think we're gonna ever need uh, any more here. So that's cool. And uh, all of those uh, drives down there, there was a link to this one. I can just put uh, empty storage drives in here, and it will automatically get uh, placed into the uh, uh, drive base down there. That's a uh, uh, let's test it out, shall we? Um, let's uh, make a couple of uh, 64, uh, 64k drives. Yeah, we should have enough. Yeah, we got more than enough, dude. Bam. And everything is cooking up. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, this one is uh, the new one. Uh, this one, uh, for all the items I have to auto-craft, uh, this one is used, this one is mainly used for um, ores and stuff like that. Nice. Centrifuge, squeezer, we got a chest up here for things to get put in here, then we got a alloy uh, or induction smelter, endurium blend, yeah, but we do not need uh, endurium blend, guys, look at this, we got endurium blocks, we got 3147 endurium blocks, you remember the, um, um, yeah, that weird place I was, uh, at. Uh, its lakes are liquid endurium, which I have set up here, and that get I can just pour it into here, and then it gets poured into the system automatically. So I have automatic uh, endurium blocks creation. Let me show you. Uh, I think it is. Oh, let me see. Don't I have it in my pendium of travel? Uh, with a battle, another forest. No, I don't have it in here. It is probably this one. Yeah, number three. Uh, no, that wasn't the right one. I love that pendant of uh, travel. I really do. It's so amazing. Two hundred and thirty-two levels in that one alone. And then there's all the liquid experience underneath. Okay, then it's not number three, then it is this one. TNT's Weird World. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, and just uh, dug out a little bit here. Huh, okay, cool. Let's go into Wisp, wisp form so we don't uh, so we have full health. Let's just take some food here. There we go. Shut up. And this world here, the lakes are liquid endurium, as you can see here. Liquid endurium lakes. So I have endurium for days. We are not gonna run, uh, uh, run into problems with endurium anytime soon. And of course, endo tank with uh, uh, lava. To power the lava engine, but the lava engine is not going to use anything when it's not being powered. And when this one doesn't uh, uh, fill up this endo tank right here, so yeah, cool. And also, I use uh, this place to gather up some glowstones and stuff like that sometimes. So yeah, how you doing? Goodbye. Bad for you. Oh yeah, I don't even know. I don't even have, to even have to go back. I could just do this. Oh no! <laughs> oh yeah. What else? What else have we been doing? Oh yeah. By the way, um, yeah. Now my ender quarry is running off of this. My ender quarry is running off of this. As you can see here, Tesseract. 
One out, yeah. I have so much power input into this thing, so yeah. It's actually the... Um, these generators back here that's doing all the work now. Uh, it's keeping that one filled. Cool. And... How you doing? Ooh, thank you, Creepso. I then it clicked on the wrong button. And this one here is on all the time now. Okay, and we have set the uh, this one over here. Oh, nice! I keep uh, I keep getting a uh, new uh, ender lily seeds. Cool. Oh yeah, and I have uh, set up a hopper system up here instead of the uh, uh, instead of having them fall down into the water because this guy here is trying to gather up all the seeds. So yeah. Uh, that over there is still the uh, falling down into water bit. As you can see, he wants all the seeds. It actually doesn't matter. Uh, we're getting it into the uh, dra uh, draconic chest. I kind of like that system. It, it looks pretty cool, actually. Let me just see them come in here. We're gonna take out these right here. Gonna plant these. Sorry about that. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's um let's just grab a few of these. Yeah. Uh I could set the um melon farm up and working again, but I don't think we need to and Carrots, do we need any more of those? I don't think so. Oh, we got more potatoes. Sweet. Get more sweet potatoes. That's it. Well, that was that was actually spot on. Cool. Off. Yeah, I still have a little bit of a problem having them up there, but that's all good. We are getting Potatoes for days. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually thinking of uh, 
uh, fixing these guys up a bit. Instead of having running water underneath here, I'm gonna fill them all in with the uh, source blocks. So we don't have all that wa running water sound. You know, it doesn't, uh, it doesn't affect me inside the house, but still. Running water is a constant update, so yeah. Source blocks is not. Hence, we can also mitigate a little bit of a little bit of lag. Okay, let me see here. Do we have a we got a ball of water? Is that like a bucket of water? Oh, there you go. I just uh, try to drink it instead. Okay, uh, we should be close enough to our system too. Yeah, um, B U Z. Resident Ender. Cool. Okay, let me see here. Oh, oh shit! Ah, damn it! <laughs> Look. Uh, one, two, three, so it's actually this one here. Cool, and we're gonna take... Gonna borrow this water source over here. Uh, go aim it right underneath there, take that. Aim it there, take that. And aim it there. There we go, that should be all, that's all source blocks now, sweet. Nope. That. There. That. Oh, put it on. Ah, yeah, okay, cool. I'm gonna take that. Put this one up there. Uh, place it there. Huh? What the? Oh! an update I see. You cannot uh, put it on the third one, you have to put it on the second one now. Okay. Much, much less uh, water noise now, as in here. Now it's just the, uh, yeah. Now it's just this water conveyance down here. I could uh, could uh, make all of this water conveyance here into hopper conveyance instead. But that would um, as that would actually take away from the beauty of this thing actually, and the <laughs> reason why I made it. 
I'm actually thinking of maybe taking the cactus part of it down this one and this one, leaving the two last, uh, leaving them being normal cactuses. But yeah, making a similar system to up there with the harvesting harvesting of the greens. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, he plants uh, extra crops where he can, and the one that doesn't uh, get planted, uh, that, that little guy picks up. Okay. Damn. Uh, yeah, um, how's this thing doing? Ooh, we just need one more there, then we're going down here, nice. This one is, of course, uh, making blocks quite fast, actually. Oh yeah, uh, here is my uh, automatic um, um, treasure loot uh, loot treasure bag thingy opener, <laughs> and these guy you know nothing new here. All the villagers, all the witches in there, giving me lots and lots of uh, um, life points and stuff. And villagers and uh, creepers coming from there as well. Uh, yeah. We're getting tons and tons of uh, gunpowder, glowstone, and sugar. We're also getting a, a massive amount of uh, watch, which are the things that we need for um, to power our base. But I have uh, uh I don't think that potion power is going to be a lasting solution. So I have uh, looked into maybe something a little bit more sustaining, such as um, solar power. Hmm. Yeah, I'm beginning to make these solar uh, solar uh, dishes here. Uh, the first one is the. The lead, the lead one here. This is the first, uh, first one, first edition. Uh, one RF uh, generates one RF per tick. Transfers two RF per tick. Capacity a thousand RF. So that's nothing. Uh, you need you need a billion of those to even come close to what we are generating. <laughs> but then comes the hardened one, which requires eight of the uh, lead ones and a hardened solar. And we're coming up to 8 RF per tick and 16 and 8,000. Okay, cool. Then we need, we need we need something we need something more. Then is the uh, shut up phone. Then is the uh, redstone solar, which of course then requires eight of the hardens and a redstone, which gives 64 RF per tick, 128 RF per tick out, and 64,000 in capacity. Cool. Uh, not not good enough. Not good enough. Then we need the uh, resonant uh, resonant solar panel, of course. Eight Re uh, redstone and a resonant solar thingy. Now we are getting somewhere. Five hundred and twelve RF per tick. A thousand and twenty-four uh, per tick out, and 
512,000 uh, in capacity. Now we come to some of the really tough ones. Eight resonant. 4,096 RF per tick. 4,096,000 capacity. And, whoa. and then we have the last one. The ultimate solar. Holy buckets. 32,700 and... 68 RF per tick generation, 65,536 65, uh, uh, RF per tick out, a capacity of 32,768,000 capacity. Just five of those, and I will never, ever have to think about power generation again. And you're probably saying five, but how? Uh, what are you gonna do? Uh, where are you gonna set it? We are gonna make an an world that is completely daytime all the time, with no weather, uh, and the sun uh, at its highest point in the sky all the time. Then we're gonna uh, set up five of those uh, solar, those ultimate solars, with a resonant or a. Uh, Tesseract, an energy tesseract, and then all of this here is a thing of the past. Of course, I'm gonna keep it up, so it's like, oh my god, look at this, it's so awesome, right? This is what we had, uh, what I have built so far. I'm not gonna take anything down. I wanted to stay up and see uh, uh, model how I built it. I'm uh, probably gonna keep the... Um, the potion generators on it, of course, but then this one here can be big as a motherfucker. So we can have, um, I mean, a serious, serious psycho amount of power. But yeah, as you see here, I am slowly but surely uh, getting the way up. We are, we are at six. Uh, we are eight hardened. And we got this, we can craft these, uh, these redstone solars here. I am um, slowly but surely getting my way up. But we have to do something with our crafting system here, guys. Our crafting system is nowhere near big enough to craft the, the biggest of the solars. So, yeah. Let's see here. Um... Uh, we can craft. We need to craft eight. We can craft uh, available six hundred and ninety steel nuggets, missing six hundred and thirty-eight. God oh, damn. Um, available six to craft. Fuck. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's the steel nuggets that are hindering us at the moment, and steel nuggets is this one. I'm thinking of maybe even uh, trying to put in, um, yeah, I'm going to, all the steel, all the nuggets. I think that's, uh, that's actually enough to make our eight, uh, Nope, we need 60. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, um. We're going to make a stack of iron blocks. We're gonna gra oh, grab a few stacks of this. Uh, apparently, charcoal is the only thing that will. Uh, uh, that we can make easily enough that will burn in the furnace. So, yeah. As you can see here, we got oak wood planks here. I'm gonna steal all of these and just yoink. And then this one burns it up charcoal style and just sends it into our system. There, oh, up there. 
Go. Cool. Oh, uh, yeah. Got tons of ender pearls. That's a grab out all of these. I got I got tons of them in the AE system. Let's just put them in here as fuel. Oh no, nope. cancel. Air fuel. Holding shift down takes uh, a stack of pearls at a time. And normal clicking just one at a time. Two hundred and ninety. Eight. Do you know what? Let's grab uh, two more out of the system. See, one thousand. One thousand. One. Uh, one thousand three hundred. <laughs> Damn. Three hundred. Three hundred. Shut up, phone. Uh, well, I am back, and sorry for. Yeah. For the little siesta, I will have a info video up to you all about what has happened and why I haven't been uploading uh, these last couple of uh, weeks here. And the giveaway uh, that is two weeks overdue, yeah, almost two weeks overdue, um, I still got the items, it's cool. We haven't had that many people uh, participating on it, so cool. Um, I'm gonna uh, uh, gonna make it uh, for this uh, this Sunday coming up. Uh, not last Sunday, of course. That's yesterday. But uh, yeah, we're gonna have another week. Um, so yeah, that's about it. I would like to say thank you all so very much. So very much. <laughs> thank you all so very much for watching. Uh, and thank you all so, much, so very much for your support and your patience. Uh, I am back uh, into saddle things, and we're gonna st uh, kick off uh, my coming back with more Minecraft. And next week is going to be Ark a uh, Ark Survival Evolve. Whoops! I accidentally clicked the off button. I say again, next week is going to be uh, Ark Survival Evolve with the dinosaurs. Um, I'm in a I'm in a tribe right now, so you're gonna see some tribe uh, things. And uh, but I'm going to start up uh, a new character from scratch and show you all of the things how to and stuff. Do you know what? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna make a how to uh, make items in Ark Survival Evolve. <laughs> we get we went from Minecraft to something much more uh, graphically detailed because Ark Survival Evolve is almost like Minecraft. You will see. You will see. It's it's amazing. Uh, it's I'm I'm completely hooked by it. I'm actually uh, playing that more than I'm playing World of Warcraft. And I'm saying something. I've played World of Warcraft for ten years nonstop. So again, thank you all so very much for watching. And catch on the flip side.